What's up guys, Trav White here. Welcome back to the channel where we talk all about men's hair and grooming and the latest science to help you look your best all the time. If you don't know about our awesome community on Facebook, Mannered Mains, come follow us over there. It's an amazing community of men who are on their hair and beard growth journey. And if you have any questions about products or styles or any problems you're having, then come join that group because they will be able to answer everything. Those guys are awesome. All right, let's get into it. So two weeks ago, I cut my hair for the first time in three years. And if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. I'll link to it down in the description. Just make sure that you open it in a new tab so you don't click away from this one. But yeah, I cut like six to seven inches off and it's about shoulder length now. Unfortunately, my stylist cut just a little too much off the back and I cannot make a full bun with the bun on like the top crown of my head. So this video is gonna be about what I do to keep my hair up even though it's not quite long enough to put the bun where I want it to be. And I have three different methods of styling it, so I'm gonna go over all three of those. So let's just jump into method number one. So the first method is the low bun. So the back isn't quite long enough to reach the crown of my head, but the top and the sides are long enough to go all the way to the back. So that's how I usually wear a bun when it's not quite long enough in the back, is the low bun. And I like this basically from my day to day to keep my hair out of my face, if I'm carrying my daughter around everywhere so she doesn't yank on my hair. But where it kind of gets in the way is if I'm working out or specifically when I'm bench pressing because I can't use this hairstyle because the low bun in the back gets in the way when I lay down on the bench and I can't rest my head fully on that flat bench. But it's a good hairstyle for everything else. You know, like when I go running, it's a good one. If I do any other type of lifting, like squats or deadlifts, it's fine. Or just going about my day. So basically the way that I do my low bun is I just take the top and the sides and I gather it all the way to the back of my head. And then I gather all the hair in the back as well. And I just do two loops around the ponytail and on the third loop around is when I put it in a full bun. And this is kind of my go-to daily style. So the second styling method is actually still keeping the bun on the crown of my head, but using these brown colored bobby pins, which are the same color as my hair, to hold up the loose ends that fall down. So this works well to keep those loose pieces in place and it still allows me to have a higher bun. So if I do wanna go and do the bench press, I can, just using those bobby pins to keep the hair off of my neck which I actually prefer the higher bun in terms of aesthetics over the low bun, just because I think it just looks, maybe it's my face shape or something like that, but I think it looks better on me. But the way that I put the bobby pins in is to grab those loose pieces of hair and pull them up relatively tight and pull them up as high as they can go. And then I put the bobby pins right at the top of where the hair reaches. So you don't wanna put those bobby pins too far down on the loose pieces because then your hair is just gonna fall back down. It's still gonna look awkward, maybe even more awkward. So make sure to place the bobby pin as high up as the hair reaches just to hold all of those loose pieces in place. The third styling method that I love to do when my hair is kind of not long enough for a full bun is the half bun or the half pony, the Jon Snow, the Geralt of Rivia, the Legolas, whatever you wanna call it. But this is a great go-to style for when your hair still needs to grow because you can keep the top of your hair out of your face, still have really cool looking styles. And then you can just use that while you wait on the back of your hair to just get a little bit longer. So those were the three methods that I use when I want to still wear a bun, even though I can't quite wear a full bun yet because my hair is not quite long enough. Now this was a short video. I just wanted to share this with you because I know a lot of you might be getting to that point where you almost have a bun, but you can't quite make it just how you like it. So these are the ways that you can still style your hair and have it look awesome. Drop a comment on what videos you guys want to see next. I'm trying to get some video ideas going and you guys inspire me a lot. So hit up in the comments what you guys would like to see and I'll see you in the next one. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> all right, let's go. And if you do that again, all the time. That was bad again. And <coughs> Shit, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> Dude, I'm like coughing, voice cracking. I cannot talk today. So those are the three methods. Uh.